All right, so the hydraulic top link is going to be replacing this right here. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike and you're watching Triple T Acres. And in today's video, we are going to be replacing my top link that came with the tractor, mechanically driven with a hydraulic top link. And I believe that this is a real game changer implement that you can add to your tractor. So we're gonna be going over where I got it, how to hook it up, how to measure it, and the benefits of getting a hydraulic top link for your tractor. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so the hydraulic top link is going to be replacing this right here. And anytime you need to make any adjustment on your tractor, you need to get off of it. And adjustment meaning up or down with the top link. So right now, for me to make the adjustment, I have to get off the tractor and crank this thing back like this. It's screw driven. There's like a lock nut right here, or a jam nut rather, that will hold this thing in place. Well, a lot of times that gets loose and your adjustments become all out of whack on the back of this. Now, where it's gonna really shine when I add this hydraulic top link is when I'm using ground engaging implements like a box blade or something like that, where you're gonna fine tune using the box blade to cut material or spread material. And you do that by adjusting this in and out. With the hydraulic top link, I'm gonna be taking this thing out and the hydraulic lines will go in here and I can make all of those adjustments in my seat and trust me, that to me right there, I've never even used one yet, but I already know that it's going to make life so much easier. So let me show you the hydraulic top link that I got. I got it off of Amazon. We're gonna get the box opened up and show you everything because you do have to take a special measurement before you order one. So you can't just order any old hydraulic top links. All right, well, I went ahead and took off my top link because I wanted to show you how to measure it properly so that you get the right hydraulic link for your tractor. What you wanna do is you wanna retract your top link all the way. So screw each of those in until they stop. And then you wanna take a tape measure and you wanna measure center of hole to center of hole. So on mine, all the way retracted, it's about 17 and an eighth inches. What you're gonna do is when you look up your hydraulic top link, you take that measurement and you look at the description and you wanna get as close as you can to your original size. The one I ordered is 18 and an eighth. So we're super close within an inch of what my original one is. I'm gonna be putting a link down in the description of the hydraulic top link that I have. You can see on the item description on Amazon how to measure it for you. And they have several different sizes for your tractor depending on the size of tractor and how large of a top link that you're gonna need. So without further ado, let's get into the box and show you what they send you. The nice thing about these kits is they send you all the hoses and everything. So you'll see some hydraulic kits out there that you gotta purchase the hose afterwards and it can get really expensive. So here are the two hoses that are gonna go into the third function. And then here is the hydraulic top link. All right, so it seems really heavy duty. They got this thing right here. So when you don't have a implement on the back, you could still hook it on the back like the original that I had on there. It looks like the only thing that I have to do to get it ready is attach these hydraulic hoses here. And on this hydraulic top link, what this box here does, it's supposed to have like a check valve in there to keep the hydraulic from flowing in either direction unless you're making it do that. So let's get these lines hooked on here and get it on the tractor because I really want to see how this thing works. All right, so we have these two lines here and it makes no difference because they appear to be identical. So it doesn't matter which one these go in because they flow in either direction. And what will really make a difference is how you connect it to your tractor. And we'll go over that here in a little bit. So these two ports here, I've already checked, they are just hand tight. So I'm gonna loosen one of these and put one of the lines on it. And I'm sure we are gonna to have to make some fine adjustments So this part is going to be facing the tractor. So I really wanna make sure that my lines are at least pointed that direction. And the socket size that you're gonna to need or to wrench is going to be a 7 eighths. 
And I'm not going to cinch these things down just yet because I know that I'm going to have to make some adjustments when I get to the tractor. Again, I left them loose so I can make some minor adjustments and then I will tighten them down once we get to over to the tractor. All right, let's go over there. When you're connecting these, you want the piston to drive outwards this way. So you want this towards the back. And I remembered where I took my top link off and it was the second hole down. So I'll line that up, stick my pin in, put my cotter pin in. And then I'm gonna use my hook here to hold my hydraulic link. Okay, cool. All right, so far so good. Now, here are my rear remotes. I keep calling it a third function. Third function is on the front of your tractor. These are your rear remotes. So again, you won't be able to use this system unless you have rear remotes. So when you're shopping for a tractor, make sure you think about adding those from factory because you could be able to use implements like this. Since my caps are blue, we're gonna try these first. There's two, and these lines are not so hateful. I think that's gonna work. Let me get my socket and get those things tight. All right, we're connected. So let's get the tractor started and see if we get this to move in and out and get it connected to the brush hog. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if we have any leaks. I've got just a couple handles up here on the side of my tractor and I'm in the blue line. All right, we got some leaking here. Let's, uh, let's get these tightened up a little bit and try it again. Well, I should have known better on these fittings right here, I never checked to see if these were tight and they're leaking around there. There's no flaw to the line here, but I just never tightened it. So I know that I need the proper size wrench for this, but nothing beats a good old crescent wrench and a pipe wrench. When you connect these things, it's, you're not gonna know which either forward or back on your lever it does what until you get them connected. What I'll end up doing is once I find out that pushing my lever forward retracts it and pulling it backward pushes it back. Then I'll mark these accordingly to make sure that they're in the right position. Yeah, this one's really loose. I should have known better. But you live and learn. That's why you watch my video so you don't make the same mistake. All right, that should do it. Let's give it a try. All right, moment of truth. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to switch ports. I'm going to put it on the green port because the other one will actually spring back to normal. I don't want it to hold the position. So let's try that. All right. Very nice. All right, let's hook up the bush hole here. You should see the benefits all from my seat. Amazing. All right, I want to show you the lever that I'm using. So I'll be sitting here and right down here with this lever, moving it back and forth is what is driving that hydraulic top. So we go here. I mean, that is gonna be so handy. I can move my bush hog that steep up in the air. Game changer. All right, everybody, there you have it. The hydraulic top link. 
that I got off of Amazon. Man, it seems like it works very, very well, but time will tell. Keep an eye out for future videos. I'm gonna show you using this thing on an implement like a box blade or a grade blade or even my brush cutter here. I tell you, going from this crank to the comfort of my seat is going to make a world of difference and I'm sure it will for you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, but until next time, we'll see you in the next video.